So we have in front in the reverse and even in the reverse. So somebody thought they were in front of the line. They were the line leader. They were the alpha, <laughs> the, the omega. Um, somebody thought that they were a leader. They're not. Um, something was not even. Something was unbalanced. This person could be unbalanced. Someone in the upright is going to be very happy. Stop trying to give up in the reverse. This person needs to stop trying. They need to stop doing what they're doing, especially if they're doing some sort of dark divination or dark practices um, or doing things just for personal gain and not to help other people. <clears throat> this person could also be doing things um, to make you stop, to try to have you give up doing something because they want your place. Um, maybe they don't have gift or talent. The past is knocking in the reverse. This is somebody that you know from your past. Somebody that is connected to you or that knows you. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. So this person just will not get the picture. They're not understanding. I intend to live forever so far so good. This person thought they were immortal. Okay, they thought they were untouchable. They really thought they were in the front of the line. You know, like they really thought that they were protected from something but they're not okay so you have okay the last two cards he or she wanted a serious relationship but i'm a funny guy funny girl this could be somebody who wanted your relationship so this is why i feel like this is connected to my last reading and then life is rocky so this could have been somebody who did a form of divination um you know practitioner whatever to get somebody that wanted to be in a relationship with you or maybe you were in a relationship with that person and they could have left you for a karmic okay um, you have to be careful. This person is very much in their emotions. Um, they're doing things and letting attachments and entities, spirits in. Um, grief can also be an, an open door. Um, when you're in your lower vibration, when you're emotional, that's why people use fear tactics, scare tactics, um, to open up the door, especially if they're sending spiritual attacks to you. Um, because you're an easy target and it lowers your protection. So during those times when you're feeling grieved, sad, um, when someone's trying to make you scared, you need to get back to zero as soon as possible. Balance yourself back out. Get back to zero. Get back to um, being in control of your emotions because um, somebody really wants you to stop trying to give up whatever it is you're doing. They could have been trying to copy you, imitate you. Somebody... Somebody was not very caring and compassionate. Somebody didn't offer someone their flowers. Somebody was not very loving. And this could even be, um, you know, a karmic that attached to somebody who wanted to come towards you. Um, maybe they offered the flowers to someone else, this karmic here, instead. Somebody thought that by snapping their fingers, snapping your fingers is the second word on there. So somebody thought by snapping their fingers, doing a little magic, whatever, voodoo, cursing, um, whatever dark practice they tried to do, whatever they called on to help them. And in my last reading, um, yeah, um, I, I mentioned that song, God, I Need a Favor by Jelly Roll, and they did not call on God. Whatever they called on, they, they were not calling on, um, the deities, or they were not asking for help from, <clears throat> you know, um, the good, um, you know, the lighter um, entities here. Um, but somebody thought by snapping their fingers, doing something that they could make something happen quickly for them when it came to a relationship. And this relationship is going to end. It's going to suffer. It's a karmic cycle. Um, it's, it's going to, it's just a matter of time when this relationship is going to end. Someone is treating someone like a yo-yo here. So it's like as soon as someone tries to distance themselves from this person, whether it's the divine femme or masculine, this could be you attached to this person, or somebody who wants to come towards you that's attached to this person. As soon as they try to get away, it's like they reel them back in. They do some more spell work. It's like they treat them like a yo-yo. They could be putting something in their food, with lunchbox being the second word on there. They're obviously doing some... They're trying to go against somebody's will is what they're doing. They're trying to interfere with someone's free will to keep them attached to them and they're doing spell work on you to affect you in some sort of way as well if you are not attached to this person if you're not the one that's attached to this person and they know they want to come towards you oh yeah 
eating it. Yeah, they were, they're putting something in the food. Okay, this was in the reverse. They put something in this person's food so they would not be compassionate towards um, their divine femme to, to go against their will, to try to force them to be compassionate to them, to offer the flowers to them. Um, they wanted to see that, them to see them as beautiful. Um, so they were doing some sort of illusion spell work, like beauty magic, so that somebody would see them as, you know, like the most beautiful person on earth or whatever. Um, they were juggling a lot. They, they, they were doing multiple spells. What they needed to do was pick up a mop and clean their house because they're not protected. This, this person thought they were immortal. They thought because they got away with doing something for so long, they were going to keep getting away with it. The whistle's being blown. Something's being exposed here, um, regarding a bride or about somebody who wants to make another person their bride. Like I said, in my last reading, this could be a divorce. There's going to be a separation. Somebody could have trapped someone up in a marriage. The whistle's being blown either by a bride or um, about a bride. So someone could be married here. Someone is trapped with a marriage, possibly children. I heard someone's calling the game. So someone... Someone's going to make a decision to leave this karmic situation. They want out. The spell work is not working anymore. It has worn off. They don't have protection. They lost their spiritual gifts. And they're, they're just not understanding it. Like, you're going to be happy. Someone's going to be happy. Whether it's you that's attached to this person. Um, or the person that, you know, they want to come towards. Um, but it's like someone's just not understanding something. It's like someone is explaining over and over, I don't want to be with you. I don't want to be attached to you. This is toxic. This is not healthy. Um, we're better apart than together. Um, someone may be trying to co-parent with another person, but this person's just not understanding it. Like they're trying to be happy and <clears throat> possibly heal themselves from whatever, you know, even they were dealing with, you know, baggage, emotional baggage, baggage, whatever they needed to heal from before they got in this relationship. This relationship is just adding on to their burdens and causing them more trouble. And we have a Queen of Wands here. There's a Ten of Swords, a permanent ending regarding a Queen of Wands and justice being restored. Something has to be balanced out. <clears throat> this person, the Queen of Wands, could have been somebody who um, broke some karmic or secular laws. Justice, balance has to be restored. Labor could be significant. They're a thief. They're spying. They're trying to steal something. This was an unsuccessful relationship, okay? So um, this person doesn't love themselves. They're very codependent. They demand attention and they get their self-worth from the attention of other people. Um, someone's worried about their financial stability because this person is trying to steal something or someone's trying to steal something from this Queen of Wands, depending on where you are in this situation. <clears throat> this could be justice being balanced out for a Queen of Wands. Or it could be the Queen of Wands who is a thief. There's a message of truth regarding someone's financial stability. So someone may be receiving a message that they're going to be good financially, and that's going to possibly help enable them to break away from this toxic relationship. Someone could be getting the message, you're good, go. <clears throat> I, I just heard Severin's package. Okay, this, I don't read the lap. I, I heard someone, like, offer another person, like, I'll give you this much money if you just fucking leave. Like, if you just leave. Just take this and go. Like, oh, someone could be actually paying off someone to end a relationship. Just leave me alone. Just take this money and go. Um, I, like a severance package. Like, if you just leave me alone, just take this money and get out of my life. Now, that's not for everybody, but... Yeah, somebody was trying to stop another person from getting money. Someone thought that they were going to get some sort of money, possibly because of a love relationship with that Ace of Cups. So there could have been a loss of money. Someone could be running off with some money here. 
Um, like I said, someone could be offering someone money, finances, or something to just get away from them and leave. Because there's an emotional situation here. <clears throat> It's like, okay, if money is all you care about, then I'm going to give you this much and you can just get out of my life. Um, you know, if you have children, um, this person could be saying, um, you know, we can co-parent, we can take care of the kids together, but I don't want to be involved with you emotionally. I don't want to deal with you anymore. Um, like, this person is just fed up. Someone is just fed up with somebody that they were dealing with and this person just will not leave willingly it's like they, they're just not seeing the picture this person keeps explaining over and over and over how they're not happy how something's not working out how they don't want to be with them and they just refuse to accept the truth <clears throat> yeah someone brought themselves under judgment because of some sort of action that they took yeah, something's being stopped. There could be a king of swords who's speaking the truth here. They could be coming across as cold-hearted but and unemotional, but they're speaking the truth to this queen of wands energy. And just because they're in the upright doesn't mean they're in the upright. It just means that they're dealing with this person. Someone's under judgment. They brought a tower moment upon themselves because they were hiding their true inner personality. Um, you know, it's like the bait and switch kind of thing. They portray themselves to be something that they weren't. And I kind of went into that a little bit with the last reading I did. Somebody didn't get what they were expecting. So there was an offer um, or something <clears throat> hold on. <clears throat> specifically that uh, someone was expecting to get, and they didn't get it. They're finding, they found out. We have the magician here. That's the challenge here. So somebody didn't get the offer that they were waiting for, and someone's trying to manifest this. They're, they're trying to do some sort of spell work. They thought they were in control with line leader here. Somebody thinks they're in control. Someone's about to be in despair here. There's a king of wands. So someone is in despair over a king of wands, or this is a king of wands who's in despair. Someone was very cold-hearted, unemotional. Someone's emotionally detached. King of swords in the reverse. <clears throat> Because someone was trying to weaken them. So someone that was trying to weaken another person here emotionally, it's like someone has detached. They just don't feel it anymore. There's a change and a rebirth coming for an emperor, and they're on the right side of the Wheel of Fortune. So somebody, um, it could have been this Queen of Wands here, who was trying to weaken someone. Um, this, this masculine energy may have had to be cold-hearted because somebody was not getting the picture. And so someone is in despair about this King of Wands, possibly because they're walking away. Or it could be the other way around, so flip the rules. But there's a big transformation. There's change coming for this Emperor. And they're on the right side of the Wheel of Fortune. There's a permanent ending, Ten of Swords. So someone had to be cold-hearted. This masculine energy had to be cold-hearted. So this is a married couple, because that's the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. So they could be married <clears throat> still depending on which timeline you're on, how you fit into this. Um, but they had to detach emotionally, or they're going to have to, and cause and, and put a permanent ending to this once and for all. They want to move towards their Ten of Cups. They want family stability. They want happiness here. They want a happy family. And luck is on their side regarding this. But they have to separate from this karmic person first if they want happiness. And I mentioned that in my last one as well. As long as they stay attached to this person, they're going to be reaping the karma. They were trying to... This karmic was trying to keep this person blinded. They were not held in high honor. They were trying to keep them from seeing the truth. And they were not protected. They were not protected by their ancestors. <clears throat> They really thought that they they thought they could have been immortal or something like that. This Queen of Wands is worried about their financial stability. That's why this masculine could just be paying this person off and just be like, here, take this money and get the fuck out of my life. Something is stopped. Ten of Swords um, stopped. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. <clears throat> as long as somebody stays attached to this person... <clears throat> They're going to suffer financially. There's going to be a reason for celebrating after something is stopped and something is over here. This relationship is over. Because of the imbalance that was created. 
So someone is going to be stopped from creating further imbalances to this other person's life, whoever they're attached to. Yeah, something is stopping for this person who was not held in high honor. They're not gifted. They lost their gifts if they had them. You know, they're not going to be able to make money off of them. They're not going to grow financially. They could have taken a financial hit. There was a loss of Eight of Pentacles. So someone's not getting whatever money they thought they were going to get. So they may just have to take a lesser amount and just leave. This could be a divorce settlement. Someone could be trying to go to mediation or settle something out of court. <clears throat> There's a divine union. Whatever done, whatever was done in secret is being brought to light. In my last reading, there was someone who was keeping a secret. <clears throat> that they did not love this person, that they were attached to this karmic. I'm getting a divine union here. This person wants to send a message to their divine counterpart to bring balance. Balance is going to be restored when this person connects with their divine counterpart. This emperor was the wounded warrior, okay? They had to be juggling finances. Their hard work. They were working really hard. But this situation with this crazy, emotionally unstable feminine energy, um, you know, was working really hard to stop this person from getting the offer that they deserved. And they didn't want to work. They didn't want to work on themselves. They didn't want to heal themselves. They wanted to stay in their emotions and just be bitter and hateful and pouty. And <clears throat> this, this person will be set free. This masculine will be setting themselves free and moving towards their Ten of Pentacles, which would be with their divine counterpart. But there could be something stuck, something frozen, something is stopping this from happening. And that is because they need to completely detach from this um, feminine energy, this karmic femme that's in the reverse here. This um, very emotionally unstable, um, jealous feminine energy who is, um, you know, if, if this person knows who this masculine's divine counterpart actually is. They're very jealous and envious of them. And this person needs to separate completely from this. Another barrier is maybe you were already in a relationship with this person at one time. Take it how it resonates. So there's going to be a reason to celebrate when this new cycle happens and this is now this is near future now energy so when this separation happens in this relationship in a new cycle someone's going to have financial stability and there's a big transformation coming okay rebirth here something has to end and something new has to begin this masculine could be scared about their finances or they could have taken a financial hit if they have to pay this person to just leave and end the relationship so but when this person gets with their divine counterpart, there's going to be an equal give and take. And that is where they're going to have the Ten of Pentacles, where they're going to be building, you know, that long lasting financial security for their family, that legacy. There's going to be a message of truth. There's a message here or a messenger. Someone could be sending a, a truthful message, an honest message. Whether somebody wants to believe it or not is a different story. Someone's trying to tell the truth, or it's like somebody's trying to speak a truth or send a message about truth. <clears throat> but then this person gets all up in their emotions. They could use emotionally manipulative tactics to get what they want. They don't like what they're hearing, but this is an unofficial person, the Hierophant in the reverse. This is a false spirit, you know, teacher, pro preacher, prophet, advisor, whatever. They're not gifted. They lost their gifts if they had them to begin with. The truth is coming out about this. Someone is not making money from the seeds they planted. So somebody could have said, oh, I'm gonna, I want to quit my job. I want to stay home and just um, read cards or something like that. And they're not making money off of it. This person doesn't take care of the house. They don't take care of themselves. Someone's walking away. Somebody was injured here. Um, the Queen of Swords. This, this cold-hearted, you know, this person's an emotional vampire. Um, very draining it's very painful to be with this person. It just causes more trauma for this masculine the longer they stay attached to this person. Because all they want is money. Money. They could be trying to figure out new ways to make money. 
But once again, there's going to be a gathering, a reason to celebrate here after someone walks away, after possibly this masculine walks away from this feminine. <clears throat> yeah, there was some communication that was very painful that caused some, some injury here. Um, so this Queen of Swords could have told some sort of lie that was meant to cause pain to her. Um, in my last reading, I mentioned there was a lot of threatening, um, possibly violence. There could have been threats of violence. Um, this could have been a threat or communication or a filing within a court to take someone's money. And so this person could be trying to settle out of court with this person to just pay them off so they will just leave them alone. Someone could have been threatening to take them for everything they had. This person is reminiscing having fond memories of someone who is the star here, someone who has divine protection, which would be the divine femme or divine masculine. So you could have been with this person or been, you know, on good terms with this person, you know, friendly terms. This person wants to come rushing in and speak the truth to you, possibly reveal how they feel about you. <clears throat> they could... Someone's trying to stop this communication. So somebody was threatening another person or intercepting some sort of communication so that they would not come towards you or reveal how they feel. King of Wands. So there's a Knight of Swords. So there's King of Wands could be rushing in to speak some sort of truth. Someone's in poverty because of a thief. So this could be the masculine or the divine counterpart. This masculine may end up in poverty because this feminine is going to steal like their thief. They could be stealing something from them. Or the person they want to rush towards and speak some sort of truth they could know. Um, you know, a, some, a situation regarding their divine feminine. They may be in poverty. So they may end up being poor together. Okay, you know. <laughs> they may start out at the bottom, but they would end up in their ten of pentacles eventually. This divine masculine and feminine. Um, but something is over, death. Something has to end with this empress. <clears throat> it's over for this empress and the reverse. It's over. It, it, there is no rebirth. They didn't want to change. They're not going to change. Yeah, somebody was trying to stop something from being revealed, discovered. <clears throat> Got a family and their intention. Their intention is they want a family. They want good intentions. They want the best intentions. Someone here has the best intentions for their family. But somebody was trying to keep it hidden, keep it hidden, um, a secret hidden that they are only with someone, either for money or for the kids, something like that. Somebody really does have good intentions for their family, and they want what's best for their family. But if this is the masculine here that's connected to this karmic ass female or flip the rules, whatever, they have to separate themselves from this person. They're only going to be happy and have a good, have, you know, um, the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, once they are away from this person. They're going to stay stuck in that cycle, that karmic cycle, if they do not get rid of this person. It's just the way it is. Yeah, a <laughs> cycle. Fate, karma, something ending, something beginning. The cycle has to end. <clears throat> Someone has to close out that karmic cycle. Otherwise, they're going to keep repeating it. Someone is trying to figure themselves out, their sexuality, um, so somebody could be bisexual, it doesn't have to be, but somebody, um, could be trying to figure out, you know, which direction they want to go. This could even be a trans, you know, this could be somebody who, <clears throat> okay, 
you were in the upright here, okay, say you're this king of wands. Okay, and this is not going to be for everybody, but I got to say it because, you know, we do have the community, you know. Um, we all live on the same planet here. So this could be somebody who's confused about their sexuality and they were just staying married to someone or in a connection for the kids, for the family, for society. But they want to go... They, they may have been struggling with... Um, oh, God, what is that called? Um... <laughs> I am so sorry, guys. Um, the change, you know, when they um, tra uh, when they do their change, like sex change stuff. Um, <clears throat> oh God, it was right on the tip of my tongue. Um, you know, like um, maybe this person wants to start taking hormones or, you know, uh, transition. That that's the word I was looking for. Transition. This person may be trying to transition, or they've been thinking about it, or they feel like they would be happier after they transition but they need to be alone to figure this out um they're just trapped within this the confines of this relationship or this marriage and they could be gay or bisexual whatever um but for someone i am getting that someone has been struggling with wanting to transition and they know that that would not work being connected to this person um they may have they may or may not like, and that is a secret that maybe they don't want revealed. That could be something that they're keeping hidden as well because they want their family. They want good intentions for their family and they could be afraid of how it's going to affect their family, especially if they have children, but no matter what, and, and if, if this is you, this could be you divine, femme, masculine, whatever. Um, you know, you, you have to separate. If that is you, you have to separate and break this karmic cycle and go figure out something for yourself. Um, if you are in this situation, you have to figure this out for you. You have to follow your path. I'm not supporting anything one way or another. Don't you? This is why I've had to keep the comments turned off. You know, people doing spell work and doing all kinds of stupid shit, trying to affect, you know, money, finances, whatever. I can feel the spell work. I can see it with my prayer candles. Um, but yeah, um, you got to figure this out. You have to figure out your path for yourself. And you're not going to be able to figure this out as long as you're in this toxic karmic cycle. You know, you learned your lessons. You have to do you, even if people walk away from you. You know, if you do any form of divination, whether you do or not, you don't have to. But people, family members walk away. Religious people walk away. You have to choose the path that's for you. And if your family loves you, if your children love you, they're going to be accepting and caring of you. You know, and if not, then that's... That's part of the, you know, process and the journey you've had to go on. You know, it's just. <clears throat> okay, I, I don't want to get too much into that, but y you have to take your own path. You know, you have to figure something out for yourself and you're not going to be able to do that until you close the cycle out. Get ready to be wine and dine. So date. So you may have been um, turning down dates, or maybe you did go out on a date with someone. Someone, maybe it's you want to date the opposite sex or the same sex, whatever. Um, however, this is working out for some of you. But someone's under a love spell. <clears throat> so you can't go on a date with someone that you want to go out on a date with. You may have wanted to ask someone to go out on a date. Um, possibly with someone of the same sex. I don't know here with the sexuality here. That's, it, you know, that's not for everyone. But someone's under a love spell by this gold digger and they're spying to see if it's working and they ran out of patience. So this gold digger energy is doing love spells on you to keep you bound and trapped or they're doing this to the person that wants to go towards you. Okay? They're spying. They got their eye on you. They're doing their research. So something good is not coming of this. Um, and so there's, you know, maybe you've been patiently waiting, been impatiently waiting. This person got impatient, started doing love spells, tried to keep attached to another person. So just... Someone's not telling the truth. They're telling the truth in the reverse. Someone's not telling the truth. They're not speaking their truth or the truth. I feel like someone's not speaking their truth. <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't pick up my phone. I'm multitasking. 
So you could just be trying to figure stuff out. You may need to spend some time alone. You may need to get out in nature, get grounded. You're trying to figure this out while you're still attached to a karmic person. And it's not going to work. If you are the person that's still attached to the this situation, you're not going to be able to do this with this person up your ass doing spell work on you every time you turn around putting shit in your food, harassing you, bothering you, <clears throat> not giving you time to think. Someone what is the you're lusting after somebody here or someone's lusting after you they could be doing spell work to try to have you lusting after them and this is backfiring i feel like you could be disgusted by this person you don't want to be connected to them there could have been rumors going around somebody could have been spreading rumors somebody listened to rumors so there could have been rumors going around about someone's sexuality <clears throat> Um, somebody felt like they were being ignored or forgotten and they need to act their age. They're acting immature and childish. So somebody could have been spreading rumors about your sexuality, whether it's true or not. If you've been questioning, you know, if you had a heart to heart conversation with this person and maybe you thought that you had a connection and they were your person and you could open up to them, they went and blew your shit out of the water. They went and told people um, your business they were they're acting immature they're acting very childish because they can't get what they want they could have been blackmailing you to give them money so that they will keep their mouth shut about your sexual preference so someone here is um a little punk ass bitch man or woman it doesn't matter whoever this karmic is you're attached to that you're married to in a relationship with if there were rumors going around about your sexuality something like that and you only confided to the person you're with where do you think that information came from okay <clears throat> I never cheated on you. So you may have never cheated on this person. You may be trying to tell this person that you never cheated on. They could have accused you of cheating on them. They could have said that you cheated on them. You want to be left alone. You, you want to be, you need to get away. You need to be left alone from this immature person because they're going to keep attacking you, threatening you. You need to be honest with yourself and, and those around you. There's a perfect storm that has been created for you to get on the path that you're meant to be on. <clears throat> and you may have been fighting it, but that's why you stay in those karmic cycles until you learn your lesson. Whoever this is for, I feel like you're getting ready to make a big change, a big transition. Um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be you transitioning your gender, or whatever. There's a big change coming for you. Um, an awakening, a level up, an ascension. This has been, this has created the perfect storm to get you on the path you're supposed to be on. And whatever the, you know, the situation and somebody's worst nightmare is that happening because then they can't get money from you and they're holding a grudge. So someone's holding a grudge that you are going towards the path you're supposed to be on and it does not include them. <clears throat> and this person is as dull as dishwater. <clears throat> so this person is ignorant. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. They're not seeing what's right in front of them. If they knew you at all, they would be able to see the truth, the pain, the hurt inside your eyes. And they're completely ignoring this. They're, they're, they're ignoring everything that's important to you. They're very selfish. For all intents and purposes, they're not, you're not happy. You're not on cloud nine. You know, it's being, it's being made crystal clear that this person was as dull as dishwater. They're not happy. You're not happy. This is a, a parasitic relationship. Like, there is no equal give and take. It's going to become crystal clear that you are the stuff dreams are made out of, or you're going to move towards stuff the dreams are made out of. You need, you're, it's, it's going to be made crystal clear what your dreams are, and you're going to take some sort of action to go towards your dreams. To put you on your path. <clears throat> this person who is as dull as dishwater just wanted to... Um, you know, control the situation, control you. Life's a bitch. Dark and stormy night, everything but the kitchen sink. Someone's going into poverty here. 
And like I said, it may be you. You may end up taking a financial hit. It may be this person taking a financial hit. But for you to hook up with your divine counterpart, you may be both broke, whatever, when you come together. But you're going to build that Ten of Pentacles together. You will not get your Ten of Pentacles until you're with that person. Now, um, yeah, Libra, there, there's an imbalance here. And it's caused by this karmic, and you know, you may have to cut your losses, uh, better mousetrap, you know, you got caught up, you got caught up in their, their bullshit, and so, you know, you may have to pay your dues, and cut your losses, and move on, but you'll be much happier if you do. April could be significant. Could be the month of someone's birthday, or the month of a significant event that's did happen or they're going to happen. Birds of a feather flock together. You may end up connecting with people that you would consider like your tribe or, you know, your soul tribe, whatever, or who, you know, like-minded people. You may find a group or organization that would help support you. Virgo could be significant. That came out sideways. So you could be a Virgo, someone else could be a Virgo, you could be hooking up with somebody who is a Virgo, or coming into contact with a Virgo that's going to help you on your path, possibly, somebody that you can talk to. Um, I heard some some sort of mentor. You can run, but you can't hide. Someone's chomping at the bit because you're going to leave. Fly the coop, and you're going to have a clean slate. You're going to possibly re... You know, your whole life could be transformed, because you could be starting something new altogether, when you're open and honest with yourself and with other people about who you are, what you are, what you want in life. Um, a tough road to hoe. Something is hard. You know, somebody thought you were all talk and no action, but you're moving into love, towards love. You know, do all things with love. Capricorn could be significant. They're going off the wall. Uh, you know, they're they're losing their shit. They didn't want to get the wake-up call. They're not sharp as attack. Someone is just very uneducated. They just don't want to hear the truth. They they refuse to accept the truth. And that's really sad. I mean, the karmic you're attached to just does not want to hear the truth. They refuse to accept the truth. <clears throat> Karma's a bitch. Karma's being balanced out for a Cancer, an Aries, and a Pisces. Morning is in the reverse, so somebody is not coming out of this darkness. They want to stay attached, and, you know, they want to stay in the darkness. Libra, balance. So there's a big tower moment coming. There's a big tower moment. Someone's not going to be happy about it. Okay. But, you know, that's part of life. Anything else? Okay. A Scorpio, Thursday night, caught red handed. In December. Memory. Wisdom of the ages. So somebody did something. This low vibrational dull as dishwater person. Did something specifically on a December. On a Thursday in December in the nighttime, And someone's going to get caught red handed for what they did. Whether they got caught in the act. Or whether you're going to catch them for what they did. So it could be something that they did that you're just now finding out about because caught red handed in the upright, so they may not have gotten caught yet, but something they did is, a, is going to come back and bite them in the ass, okay? You're going to have to start over from scratch or someone is here, and, but there's nothing wrong with that. You know, be the phoenix, rebuild yourself, rise from the ashes. The pow you, you have the power. You're good. You know? All right. Person, place, or thing, letter I could be significant. R, an incident report could be significant. IRS could be significant. Taxes could be significant. A, IRA, um, 
International Rifle Association could be significant. <laughs> IPA beer could be significant. Somebody could really like IPAs. I think that's what they're called. Paps or Paps, something like that. You, pub, someone may like to go to the pub and drink IPAs. Irish, you could have Irish descent. I don't know. I'm just getting a strong Irish energy all of a sudden. You, uh, w. A Whipple? I don't know. W-H-I-P-P-L-E. I may have to look that up. I don't know what a Whipple is, but a Whipple could be significant. O. O. Maybe you're meeting up at a pub, drinking a beer with someone. And T. Someone feels the same way you do. Two. T-O-O. -O. Somebody feels the same way about you that you feel about them. For whoever this message is going to resonate for okay so i have i r a p u w t o o i hope this helps have a good day